497 foot 9 um, uh, in the declared um, another excellent session from India 140 runs a session so we've had three sessions where we've gone for 133, 132, and 140, all at around four and over, four and a half and over. Um, that, that tells you all you need to know about South Africa's bowling, which has been really poor um, as a whole. Um, we've been second fiddle throughout the series. Um, India are in complete control. Um, I did think that we were better um, in general in this test, but that's not saying an awful lot when you've gone from being woeful to not very good. Um, I thought Nokia, uh, it's taken up a test match, but he now knows it's sort of the sort of lengths and the sort of pace that he needs to bowl in India. Uh, he knows that the bowling 150 kilometers an hour isn't always going to work. He's been markedly down in pace, trying to bowl wicket to wicket. Um, at times, not quite getting it right. Um, but in general, a much better performance from him. Uh, one for 79. Um, Rabada, in general, quite good. Um, and Giddy, really poor. I don't know whether, whether it is fitness or lack of overs or uh, just lack of cricket, but he just looks he looks off, off the ball completely. Um, and actually, in hindsight, as much as it's a beautiful thing, uh, Philander probably should have played because at least Philander would have been economical. Um, and in Indian conditions, that's what you need. Um, to keep things tight, you need a bowler, to, you can do that. Um, and I thought he was really poor. Um, Dane Pitt uh, got a wicket towards the end, but uh, a really bad, poor day for him. Uh, bowling too full, bowling too short, often bowling wide. Um, the, especially the Indian top order seemed to take a real liking to him. Um, and he really took an, uh, he took a, a, a real beating from the, the Indian batsman. Um, and I do wonder if if this level is just that little bit too far for him. Um, it's another case of one of our players being asked to score runs at first class cricket, doing that doing that that part of it, getting a chance. And not taking that chance at international level. Tennis to burn the other averages around 60 with the bat. But when it comes to international cricket, it just doesn't seem to have it. it doesn't have it doesn't seem to have the technique. Um, Don't Pete it's just he doesn't know where to bowl. Um, as I said before, it's one thing bowling too short or bowling too full, but when you're bowling both in the same over and you've got a real problem. Uh, and that's a real real concern for him if he wants to have a long-term future uh, in international cricket. Um, George Linder and his test debut, I thought, bowled pretty well. I thought, in general, he kept things... Um, he, he bowled a, a reasonably good line throughout. And uh, he'll be delighted that he got four wickets. Uh, um in that first innings of Test cricket for him. Uh, he'll be absolutely delighted with that. And I think he deserved it. He deserved it, at least three. Um, although he took a beat in there from uh, Yadav uh, towards the end when India were looking for quick runs, I thought in general he bowled, he bowled, bowled pretty well. Um, so really a tough day at the office uh, in general, though, for South Africa. Um, India in complete control, and it will be interesting to see um, uh, how we bat um, when we when we start our innings. Um, only time will tell. Um, you would hope maybe that you would, it would be nice if we could have a 50-60 run partnership at the beginning, 
just to calm the nerves of the middle order so they don't have to come in at 20 for 2 all the time. Uh, this, this, this wicket is not, it's not deadly. Uh, it's not difficult. Um, you think that Ashford might, might be able to, uh, to show us up, but it's, it's a wicket week where we, if we knuckle down, we can't score runs. Um, all right, that, that's, that, that's about it for, t- um, this session's cricket roundup with the cricket guy. Um, I'll catch you with the close of play.